The idea of keeping frogs as pets is a good one if the owner has the right expectations from it. Most people expect their pets to be active and playful. This might not be the case with frogs as most of them have a sedentary lifestyle. If you know what to expect from your pet froggy, then everything goes hand in hand. Of the 4,000 odd species of frogs found in the world, the ones that make good pets are the African dwarf frog, American green tree frog, northern leopard frog, white's tree frog, and Pacman frog. Regardless of which of these species you choose, you need to make sure that it is captive bred and has been tested for diseases that are known to affect these amphibians. Popular pet frogs. African dwarf frogs it's easy to take care of African dwarf frogs. No wonder they are so popular as pets. If you intend to keep this species, you will have to note a few things, like the temperature of the water should be 70 degrees Fahrenheit, the tank should not be too deep as they are not good swimmers, and so on. These frogs require food sources that are rich in vitamins and minerals, such as bloodworms or brine shrimp, live guppy fry, glassworms, amphibian food pellets, etc. American green tree frogs as the name suggests, these frogs are grass green in color. They are known to be powerful lepers, which can be attributed to their strong legs. If you want to keep them as pets, you will have to house them in a large, unheated vivarium, with a temperature of about 77 degrees Fahrenheit, away from direct sunlight. As these frogs are nocturnal, it is preferable to feed them at night. You can feed them crickets, mealworms, moths, flies, and also add a weekly dose of vitamin supplement to their diet. Northern Leopard Frogs Northern Leopard Pets are suitable for beginners. These species are semi-aquatic, so a part land slash part water tank will be a suitable choice for raising them. As for the ideal room temperature, which is preferred by these creatures, it will be in the range of 68 degrees Fahrenheit, 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Though they have a huge appetite for invertebrates like waxworms, fly larvae, and earthworms, crickets make up a bulk of their diet. White's tree frogs like the northern leopard frogs, even white's tree frogs are suitable for novices. These frogs come in various colors, ranging from green and turquoise to brown. A temperature of 35.6 degrees Fahrenheit, 78.8 degrees Fahrenheit should be maintained in order to keep these pets healthy. As for their dietary preferences, they prefer crickets, locusts, butterworms, phoenix worms, silkworms, cockroaches, and earthworms. Pacman frogs huge in size and appetite, Pacman frogs are also popular as pets. They have a sedentary lifestyle and are not meant for handling. These frogs can live up to six years and hence, require a great deal of commitment. With a little space and temperature of 85 degrees Fahrenheit, these creatures can enjoy their stay in a plastic or glass aquarium. As they are known for their large appetite, Pacman frogs enjoy feeding on crickets, mealworms, feeder fish, and even dead pinky mice at times. Additionally, you may have to add vitamin supplements to their diet. African Clode Water Frogs If you are looking for a water frog, then the African Clode Water Frog is your best bet. Clean water with a temperature in the range of 65-80 degrees Fahrenheit is enough to keep these frogs healthy. As for their diet, they will happily feed on bloodworms, waxworms, earthworms, feeder fish like guppies and brine shrimp and even dog and cat foods. One great thing about keeping the African clode species as a pet is that you can directly feed it with your hand. Since these creatures are toothless, it does not raise any concern. According to most experts, frogs do not make good pets for kids. There is no hard and fast rule which prevents kids from owning a pet frog, however, these creatures are not typically active. Kids would always want their pets to be playful and do stuff that would amuse them. But with frogs, they tend to get bored very soon. It is advisable to acquaint yourself with all possible information about the species you wish to bring home, as it will ensure that you subject them to proper care.